Hi friends, hope you are fine. First, let us understand the meaning of tandem repeats. The word tandem means located one after another. Repeats means repeatedly present in a sequence. Let's take this DNA sequence as an example. On a close look, we can see that this AGCA is repeated many times, one after the other. So this is called a tandem repeat. A tandem repeat is a sequence of two or more DNA bases that is repeated many times. Here it is seven times in a head to tail manner on a chromosome. Let's take one more sequence to understand better. As you see here also this AGCA is repeated four times. But there is an in-between sequence AGTA. Therefore this sequence cannot be considered as tandem repeats. Hope this is clear. Now what is short tandem repeats? So we have already discussed the short tandem repeats. Short tandem repeats are so called based on the size of the repeated sequence. Short tandem repeats also called as microsatellites or simple sequence repeats are short tandemly repeated sequence of one to six base pairs in a DNA sequence. It can be intergenic or intragenic. Intergenic means it can be within the gene Intragenic means between genes or in non-coding sequences. Majority of the STR is present in the non-coding sequences. STR accounts approximately 3% of the human genome. Now let us see why STR is considered as an important tool in molecular biology. Different individuals within a population have different number of repeats. Let's make it more clear. Suppose this is a chromosome. This is STR site 1, which is AGTC, and this is STR site 2 on a different locus on a chromosome, which is GCGA. In the case of individual 1, STR site 1 has repeated 6 times, whereas STR site 2 is repeated 8 times. In the case of individual 2, this may be different. STR site 1 is repeated 12 times, whereas STR site 2 is repeated 10 times. In the case of individual 3, both STRs are repeated 5 times each. Different individuals within a population have different number of repeats, as you see in this figure. Therefore, STR helps in identifying or distinguishing individuals within a population, so as a unique molecular marker. That's why it is widely used in DNA fingerprinting. Now let us see the applications of STR. STR is widely used in forensic analysis, in disputed parentage, in the case of paternity testing, then in genetic mapping, in genetic linkage analysis. STR is present in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Therefore, it is also involved in identifying diseases or in disease diagnosis, causative organisms or pathogens, also helpful in assessing biological diversity it's widely used in phylogenetic studies to trace out the evolutionary history of a species, widely used in DNA fingerprinting. Hope you understand the concept of tandem repeats and STR. Take care, stay blessed. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.